Father Shelley's still in ministry, isn't he? Father is not in ministry. He's on a leave of absence. Okay, excuse me. He took a sabbatical. He took a s s sabbatical, and then he was placed on leave of absence. Okay. The point that this um, memo was sent to you, and uh, you read it, Shelley was in ministry, was he not? He was. And he was continued in ministry, was he not, by you? I don't have those dates. Um, this is 2012. He was, uh, 2012, he would have been out of ministry. It was June 2012 that he uh, took a sabbatical. I don't, I don't know where you're getting that date. Um, Archbishop uh, Hesselberger refers also at the bottom paragraph um, that she's attaching a copy of a September 23rd, 2004 letter, 4004 letter of referral to the SLI. That would be St. Luke's Institute, correct? Correct. <coughs> had you had you had seen that report, had you not? Um, I can't recall at this moment whether I did. I'm confused by this. You're referring to the letter or the report? <coughs> the report, the St. Luke's Institute report. Had you ever seen that? I don't believe I did. If it came in September of 2004, I wouldn't have been present on the... The records, the, the records seem to reflect that they actually got the report and sent them there before they got the computer uh, evaluated or completed. Or, or but if you know, I don't know if those are facts or not, but well, if you know... Let's just I, I would have to look more carefully at this. Okay, well, let's just look at a, a sentence. It says, at the last paragraph, it sa it's, she says, Archbishop, I'm attaching the copy of our September 23rd, 2004 letter of referral to SLI, as well as their report to this memo. Correct? Correct. That means you received it. Correct? That somebody would have received it. Yes. Yes. Well, this is to you. Yes. So you're not disputing you received it. Correct? No. Correct? No. That is correct? That's correct. Okay. The last paragraph, and she writes to you, Father Shelley has not been assessed by SLI since the computer was determined to have images that were borderline illegal. Did you do anything responsive to that information, Archbishop? I don't recall. Um, at the next page, the last sentence, she writes to you, you will recall that this has not been without problems, including where, where, where the Where are you reading, please? The next page. Yes. Last sentence of the first paragraph. Okay. She writes, uh, you will recall that this has not been without problems, including the fact that Father Shelley had an 18-year-old male living in the rectory of St. John the Baptist in 2009. Did you know that, Archbishop, before having received this? I don't believe I knew it uh, before receiving this. So when you got this information, did you do anything about it? Uh, I, I, I do believe that it was looked into by, um, uh, by somebody on the staff, and I think it was my delegate for uh, clergy, who cool. would have been Father Tiffany. Okay, and did he give you a report or take any action? I think it was uh, past the time that the young man was living there. My was Shelley interviewed uh, by you or any of your delegates? I believe, uh, to by find my out? I believe by my delegate. And was that recorded or reported uh, to police? I believe it should have been. I don't know, I can't say definitely it was, but it should have been reported. Do you have any knowledge that it was? Uh, no, no, I don't. The next paragraph goes on to state at the second sentence, 
beginning, the paragraph starts with however. Yes. Um, and the second, I'll read it. It says, however, now that you have access to the information that was recently recovered, paren including DVDs of the material that was found on the computer, unparen, I think there is a, a great risk of associated a great risk associated with us reassigning Father Shelley. I read that correctly? You did. You did reassign him, didn't you? I believe, and I don't believe I did re reassign him at that point. He was already in uh, Hugo. Actually, you left him there for six months, didn't you? In I the parish you were. I believe I did, yes. Without notifying anybody of this information that you would receive from her, correct? Uh, that would be correct, but I don't know that her um, information was was correct here. I'm just looking at this again for it's been a long time since I've seen it. Well, let me ask you another question. Under um, that same paragraph, enumerated number one, um, she state, I'll read and then ask a question. Collecting all the personal computers, laptops that Father Shelley is using at this time and sending them for similar analysis, um, this is a recommendation action. Mm -hmm. It states, if the SLI report is correct and Father Shelley has an ongoing problem with compulsive sexual behavior in his internet pornography use, it is very likely that this use will have continued. And since Father Shelley's never received treatment to address this, did that alarm you? Or do you remember that alarming you at the time? It I believe that would have alarmed me at the time, yes. What did you do about it? I, I, can't, I can't remember what I did about it. Did you alert any of the parishioners uh, or the public or the police of what you were alarmed about and the information you're receiving in this memo that concerns you? I honestly can't say right now what I, what I did or didn't do. It, at the last paragraph, you do state it is stated um, by her. I shared this information with Father Laird last July. Um, do you have any memory um, of having taken any action to um, report Shelley to law enforcement, to alert the parishioners or the public about the risk now discerned? Um, concerning Shelley's danger to children or um, use, possible possession of child pornography. Objection that misstates the facts, the evidence, the document you just read, counsel. There's not a word in there that says that there's a danger to children. So you've misstated the record, again, inserting your own facts. If you ask it another way, it would be a proper question. If you Did want you to use take any action responsive to the information contained in this memo? I believe that there was a question of the ongoing um, nature of the, the uh, images that were on that computer. And um, I believe I was waiting for a final analysis of that in order to make s some kind of reaction. And so uh, it is correct that four months later, Shelley was allowed to resign from his parish, claim to the uh, parishioners that he was taking a sabbatical, correct? With your permission. I'd, I'd have to look at the record. you have a memory of that? I don't have a memory of that. I know that he w did ask for a sabbatical, and he was granted a sabbatical. And then I put him on uh, leave after other information came to the fore. And did you or anybody under your direction ever alert the police or the public of what you knew uh, as contained in this memo about Shelley? Not to, not to my knowledge. And. Um, I'm going to refer you to uh, Exhibit 45. Uh, before I do, do you remember uh, a, a dispute between Jennifer Hasselberger and Kevin McDonough 
about whether um, these images on this computer uh, were illegal and child porn and thus uh, a form of sexual abuse? I do remember there was an argument, yes. Tell us about that argument, what you heard and what you did responsive to it. Well, Jennifer maintained that the images were those of uh, child pornography and Father McDonough said they were not and we had the at the time the uh, investigation that was done with the retired policeman indicating that these were borderline and so uh, there was a dispute obviously about the nature of these <coughs> images and um, Kevin McDonough took the position that 60 percent of the images are created by law enforcement and because he had not been caught he had not been guilty and he made that case to you didn't he? I don't recall that at all no. Um, he also claimed that it may, they may have been pop-up images and innocently then um, uh, on, on that computer. Do you remember that? Subsequent to this yes I remember that. Um, Jennifer Hasselberger disputed that vigorously, did she not? I believe she did. And she went to the length to even copy some of those images and put them on your desk, didn't she? she those were the same images, I believe, that you referred to before. How many images? I think there were only three that I recall. And she told you that she had showed those to uh, McDonough, and he ordered her to put them back in the archive, didn't, didn't she? I believe she did, yes. And she was upset about that. I believe she was, yes. And she wanted you to take action, didn't she? I believe she did, yes. And you chose not to, didn't you? Well, I didn't think they were child pornography. She also urged you to report to law enforcement. those images that were and what the archdiocese knew and included in Shelley's file, including the earlier stuff, correct? I don't recall that. Okay, I'll show you Exhibit 45. Yes. And I'll direct your attention to uh, 45, which is dated February 8, 2013. It's to you from her. Um, Fifth paragraph, paragraph down, um, she writes, I would also like to reiterate that I think all of <coughs> this information should be turned over to law enforcement for their determination in hopes of avoiding prosecution for you and your staff by offering an affirmative defense. She wrote that to you, didn't she? She did. And then she states, finally, I am attaching a memo written by Father McDonough when he made a similar assessment of Father Waymire, his conclusion which Father Laird supported. In other words, she's saying, don't make the same mistake here that you made with Waymire. Is, is, that, is that the way you re read this? Objection. It's assuming facts, not in evidence. It's not what the memo says. As you recall, is that the way you read it? No. Um, you didn't turn this over because you were worried that you were in possession and you could be prosecuted. That's not true. I didn't turn it over because I didn't think it was child pornography. So what training do you have in the area of what is and isn't child pornography? Uh, not very much. Well, what training at all? None. Okay. Which? Okay. Let me ask you this, Archbishop. Uh, you've now um, 
testified and publicly declared that you have um, uh, identified those that you believe credibly accused and that you have files pertaining to them. Don't you think it's past time to turn it over to law enforcement? And if so, will you do that now? Objection. That calls for a legal conclusion and something that the Archbishop doesn't have uh, going to do at this point in time. Well, I'm going to ask you, will you we, turn we the files over to the law enforcement well, agencies? I, I, as I mentioned before in this testimony, we've had a thorough um, review of the files by the Kinsale, Kinsale and with the, they're still in the process of doing that and I'm waiting for that. Uh, results of that to be able to f to do exactly what you're suggesting. But Kinsel is hired by you, aren't they? Correct. Okay, just like the clergy review board is appointed by you, correct? Correct. Just like Setter was hired by uh, your former arch uh, the former archbishop, correct? Correct. And just like the forensic investigator was hired. So the question I put to you, and maybe it's a, a request. Why not just privately turn the files over of those priests to law enforcement to let the professionals review them instead of trying to do this yourself? Same objections. Why not? My answer would be we are prepared to do what we ha have to do when the, the Kinsale uh, uh, file review has been done. Don't you realize how, how risky it is and the danger that's posed by keeping all these things within your control and those you hire and keeping it under the internal processes that you have instead of turning it over to the professionals who are trained in law enforcement investigation. And I'll object again, counsel, you're trying to make sound bites. There's no evidence that the Archdiocese has not cooperated with any law enforcement officials with any person that's been accused. That's not a legal objection. Th that that is question. a legal objection, counsel, because you continue to try to create your own clips. And that's not no, we're trying to protect kids question. here. We're trying to protect kids, counsel. Well, then give ask me the legal questions objection. about it. Ask the questions about it. And I'm asking the Archbishop uh, and giving you a chance to give, us, give um, the law enforcement people to know what, you, what your office knows by turning those files over to them privately and letting them investigate it. Okay. Why Thomas, don't you do that? We will, we, as I indicated to you, once we have the file review done, Why we don't... Wait? Kids are at Council, we're, 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 we're done. They are. We're what done. do you mean you're done? We're not done with this. We're not done with this deposition. Let's go on. The, what time does, there, does the? Uh, I'm sorry. You're, de you're declaring the time is up. Take. Let's oh, take a break and find out what the time is. Okay. Just take a break right now. From the video, and we'll find out how much time you've been on the video. We're going off the record. It's at 2:34.